everybody can hear me yeah sure i think you are quite audible yeah okay fine yes you are quite audible right thank you yes see uh, the first thing what we have to see is what is the need of the anam so why it was came into the picture it's all based on the current uh, challenges what we are seeing in the data processing so first we will see that what is the need of the anam why it was came what are the current challenges and after that we will see how it was came okay see usually if you take any business scenario not only sap guys if you take any kind of business scenario the main thing is data of course whatever the application you are using maybe sap or even any other erp or any other non erp so whatever it is the ultimate target in the business is the data so to store the data and to process the data without affecting the performance so current challenges are usually as per a study it's not done by me or sap guys it was overall st uh, study or uh, one analysis saying that in the world on an average if we take any kind of business 18 to 24 months the data is becoming double maybe sometimes it might be little more or little less the duration is all based on your business and uh, the business scenarios which you are using and the data how much it is getting processed but this is a study saying that on an average 18 to 24 months data is becoming double of course simple take an example even if you take your new laptop might be the day one which you started you might have data maybe 100 gb you copied from your hard disk to laptop if you see exactly next year it will becoming even more than 200 gb also right maybe whatever the data you are putting your documents your pictures or movies or any other personal information there so if it is the case with your personal laptop or personal data but what about organization obviously it will be more right so what is the problem with the data growth is it affects in the performance when you are fetching the data a simple example for example if we have a book i have 1000 pages if i want to search for a topic so based on the index page it takes maybe 1 minute or 1 and 1/2 minute to go to that page it's based on the topic sub topic what you required in that any particular area but the same book if it is a 200 pages or 300 pages it will be very faster to pick your topic than the 1000 pages book right same way if i have 1 terabyte data let us take a query is running so it it is taking maybe few seconds maybe let us say 50 seconds or 60 seconds but if i have huge database maybe 2 terabyte 3 terabyte 5 terabyte obviously it will take more time to fetch the data from the database of course there there are many factors depending dependent here in terms of data size and how you are organizing the data and how the data indexes i mean table indexes are placed what indexes it's being used and the primary keys used of course there are many factors impacting in this but if you take from the data point of view okay so it is mostly affecting because of the size of the data okay whatever it may be the size if you have 200 gb data it takes some x amount of time if it is 500 gb data it takes more than x amount of time to fetch the data if it is like that down the line maybe after 2 years 5 years okay so your business will be affected by the latency okay information latency what is this is the real time data what you are getting from the different sources okay you won't get on fly immediately as you required i'll just give you some example say take your company example okay so you are using sap let us think maybe you are using oracle database or sql database or db2 whatever it is on top of that your erp is running but there is no rule that all your company or organization should run through sap only simply take your swipe in machine when you are entering your office so you are using the swipe in so that data may not save in the erp right i don't require that i will say i will i will show that in maybe in the sql server or maybe some other database 
that data I need to transfer to ERP. Maybe for payroll calculation, right? When the payroll is running, I want to see the employee absence report. So that should be linked to your existing your ERP. Same way, the different kinds of requirements in your company may be processing through some different database also. You are using SAP with Oracle for HR payroll. Maybe swiping machine, they are using SQL machine. And some other application in the business, maybe your operations point of view, your SAP may not support that functionality. They are using some other legacy application that also storing in some database. That means your data is flowing from some one server, means one database to another database to consolidate it or to finish a process what you required. Let us take simply a payroll. If I want a payroll, I require an absence report of my employees also. So that I required from the other database from where it is storing. That means different data sources we are getting the data. So by the time I am running payroll last working day of your month or maybe first day of your month. So it has to get all this data from the legacy application, consolidate it and ensure that then payroll will happen like that we will getting the salaries if that leave history and all matching with your eligibility so you are getting full salary if you are exceeded then your salary will be deducted on pro rate basis as per your company policy so if this information whatever you are getting from legacy application got delayed let us think maybe evening four o'clock i am running the payroll tomorrow i need to process my salaries or maybe midnight i am running by the time midnight my data not came from my swiping machine or maybe punch punching machine or biometric machine to your ERP, your HR payroll will be affected. Or maybe it will give the full salary even the employee was absent. That delay is called the latency. If that is not getting properly into the system, again the wrong report will come obviously, right? So for example, I bought, uh, I, I sold uh, 10 mobile phones through the eBay. I am the eBay owner. Okay, so when I am getting the report, I got only 10. But by the time report generation, okay, actually the sold items were 12. Means two are missed because there is a delay happening transferring the data from one system to another system where it, your reports are being generated. Okay, so that is called latency. So it, it, it will be because of many reasons. I am not saying that only of because of used data. Okay. So the data transfer technique which you are using, that affects one. And the second thing is the huge data or data changes in the source will be rapidly more. Or maybe the data processing time is taking time to consolidate it by the time you are running the report. So, and also different data sources you are using. See, as, as I said, biometric or a swipe in machine. So you are using some SQL database. Your SAP is on ERP for reporting purpose, some other database you are using. That means your SQL to your ERP should come. From there, it consolidates some report or some data, some tables, it will be transferred to your reporting, maybe Informatica or some other front end tools, whatever they are using, or maybe let us take HANA. So that means the data traveling from one to one means it's getting the data from different data sources. Whatever it is the process you are using that's we will talk in the course means we use the different mechanisms here like SLT, VODS, smart data access like that. different features we will use to transfer the data leave about that we are getting the data that means different formats of data coming see SQL format is different and Oracle format is different HANA format is different when you are transferring the data from SQL to HANA or Oracle to HANA or some other database to HANA means it cannot understand your data if I copy paste of course you see as a table only so many these many columns these many rows and this much entries that only we will see but internally system cannot understand that so during this process it has to transform your data into the understandable format format of your target means I am transferring from SQL to HANA means so SQL format should be transferred to the HANA format then only HANA it can accept and it can present as it is required so that you can view the data in the HANA system. So if the data is growing or latency is happening or if the data is more, 
the calculation speed also will come down right so these are all these challenges which will affect finally on the real time information okay so here if latency means delay is happening means you won't get a accurate report as you required by the business right see i want every day sales report by 12 o'clock in the midnight i am the ceo of the company okay so i am getting only the data up to 11 o'clock but i want by 12 o'clock complete data as it is however it was so there is a wrong report i can say so these all these factors will impact on the data processing so these are the current challenges in the market the calculation speed and the data size growth and supporting different databases which will result in the latency of the data or maybe duplicate data you will get or wrong data you are getting see there is a delay means you are getting wrong report only i want report by 12 o'clock but i am getting the data up to 11 o'clock or 11 that means you are missing last 30 minutes or one hour data so obviously it is a wrong report okay so these are all the business challenges going forward okay maybe if you take down the line after one year or two years or after five years so your data size is growing like anything so to overcome all this okay so we required a good data processing mechanism where it should address all these things okay so what actually customer is looking on top of this is yes even though terabytes of data i am transferring okay it should not affect in the performance okay it should not affect in the performance and the disk input output and throughput as well and irrespective of whatever the data source i am using it should affect it should transform the data to my database without affecting the latency that is nothing but we want the real time data so as we seen in the first screen these are the things which are affecting in the current business scenarios so what the customer is looking to by overcoming all this so final target is the real time data so without affecting the performance and without affecting the unsupportive databases etc okay for example my product is a good product but i won't support sql database as a source i can't understand sql data in that case customer will not take your product maybe let us take hana if hana is not supporting sql as a source database because there is no rule that everything should come from oracle to hana only customer use different databases so this supportability or compatibility also matters here so if there is a centralized mechanism okay which will address all this problem ensure the business functionality without affecting the performance okay with real time data so that is the business requirement or the current world requirement it may not be now but down the line it is mandatory for the many customers why because data growth is happening like that if you take any kind of business so to overcome all this okay so sap came up with the solution called hana okay so it is hana is an abbreviation okay which stands for high performance analytical application okay appliance sorry analytic appliance so what is the appliance everybody thinks that hana okay so far i don't know how many people are having under this impression everybody thinks that database okay yes that's true but not only a database it is the combination of hardware and software technology with the database features that is called the appliance so it's not a single mechanism okay appliance means it is a combination of multiple things is not only a database of course it is a database but not only a database it is not only a software sap built yes of course is a software capability but not only a software capability application features etc and not only hardware okay so combining all this making the hana so that is why we are calling this as an appliance so which is working with in memory compatibility so in memory processing of 
your data. So what is that? Uh, what is the difference to in-memory and the traditional database? We will see in the next slides. And 90% of HANA code was written in the C++ language only. Here also one more confusion is there. People will think that SAP means everything is ABAP, right? But HANA is not like that. It was written in the C++ coding only. Okay, right. Now, as I told, it is the combination of the high-ended hardware, okay, with software technology which improved by the SAP. See, even though SAP did like this, if this is not there, your HANA will not work. This is the one important thing in when you are using HANA, your hardware. Our current hardware will not support. Where there is a specialized hardware where SAP using the advancements in the technology which happened in the world. So with multi-core processors, including the in-memory technology, so with the integration of all this hardware and software, they made it as a HANA product. Okay. See, even though my product is this much capabilities, but if your hardware is not there, if you are installing HANA or using HANA on existing hardware, it won't work as expected. Or even though your hardware is good, but you did not use this, you are using your current existing Oracle database or it will not, it is not useful. Why? Because the HANA appliance itself is like that uh, to use multi-core CPUs and in-memory technology. So that is why we can't separate both these in the HANA world. Okay. So where, why this was is, first thing is, even though, for example, I'm the, what you can say, good athlete, okay, I can run very fast, okay, but I don't have proper fitness, okay, in terms of food or practice, whatever it is, then even though I'm fast runner, I may not win the competition. Of course, I have good food and good competition but uh, good practice but I am not the fast runner I'm not having a competitive attitude I won't win so both we required in terms of physical fitness and practice and your attitude everything right same way Hana is like that like that here so we required both the things so that's why we are calling it as an appliance of course in the software technology what SAP innovated in terms of HANA big so many features are there see row store and column store see usually the row store column store of it was one example I'll give I'm not going depth here just to make you understand all traditional databases are running with row store but HANA is using column store of course HANA supports row store also HANA contains row store plus column store but this is the major portion in the HANA data, means HANA tables. So what is the difference is, why the column store is very fast than row store is. For example, if you take a table, here I have five fields. Data, store, product, customer and price. Okay, okay. Under this, each data is inserted. For example, date, store, product, customer, price, how much it was, everything it was entered. I want a report from this table on so and so date how much sales happened or what kind of products sold on that particular day means I want this column and this column only even though table contain five fields I don't want all those in the row store what will happen is if I run this query select date and product from so and so table let us say what is happening is, it is reading each and every row in the table. But of course, we have to read the row. But what I required is the first column and the third column only. But even though in the row store, what will happen? All the row will be read by the transaction. Unnecessarily, I am reading these two and this one, three records. Unnecessarily, time is waste to read all this. And memory also it will consume to read and keep in the buffer. Like that, if I say 100 rows are there in this table, 100 rows will be read like this and fetch the data and whatever you want, that it will give you. So that is what 
happening in the current traditional database where it is impacting on the performance of the data fetching okay so that's why to overcome all this they came up with the column store mechanism column store also table will be like that say no difference but how it is organized is in terms of columns not on row based for example same query running on this okay what it will do is it will select this column and this column that's it it reads all this data all this data gives it to you it won't touch this 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 so that's why when a query is running it is read optimized column stores are more read optimized and performance effective in terms of read operations any report fetching or data fetching select statements read means all select statements so that's why the column store will give you more performance or effectiveness when compared with the row store and the memory consumption also very less when compared with the row store so using this one concept of course this is one of the concept not only column store we have many features in the hana okay these kind of innovations implemented in the sap hana product okay so like that so the data fetching will be very fast but on top of this row store is also advantage for write operations if any data getting modified column store is not that much effective row store is more effective to modify the data to read the data column store is more effective so that's where your experience or proficiency comes as a basis consultant we have to decide which one i can make row store which one i can make column store this may be in my previous project some abc table may be row store but in my present project abc table is very crucial for me i can make it as a column store because where because all my reports are running on the table or some reports are running on the table so this kind of logic you have to apply when you are administering the hana why because in our career in as a basis consultant we are not a dedicated dba okay even though we handle some part of database we are not a complete dba we will depend for some things on the database teams maybe core dba team right for some performance issue or some any critical issue will depend on them only but in hana it's not like that there is no other dba basis consultant is the hana dba in sap hana so there is no other dependency for us we are only the person who have to take care of complete database that's why now onwards you should think as a db only don't think as a basis admin if you think as a basis admin you will become good administrator in studio that's it not in the database okay so there is a difference what is the difference between studio and database is okay studio is right click start right click stop right click backup right click restore but if a performance problem is occurring okay our table is behaving abnormally or a table is consuming more memory how to handle all this means you should know the complete product which we are going to see in the course so that's why all these features only column store will not work independently the other features also will help column store to make it fast like compression yes as you know the data is growing rapidly okay so all the data we don't required in the database as it is if you do it compression maybe one terabyte data make a coming into 300 or 250 or 350 gb yeah that's good yes that is one more advantage with hana even the oracle database one terabyte database you are transferring to hana or migrating to hana or replicating to hana it will not be one terabyte it will be maybe 200 or 250 or 300 300 max 400 so 50 to 60 percent data will comes down of course you are not losing the data it is a inbuilt feature based on the column store why because column store has the feature to compress based on the distinct values which we are using of course we will see detail in the course okay so that is making the less resource okay means in terms of disk and memory also for example in oracle i am migrating from oracle to hana oracle is 1 terabyte we don't require 1 terabyte ram in hana on terabyte disk in hana just 250 300 is more than enough for me of course it depends upon your data how it was there in the tables this on an average figure i am telling you 
so if you know that how it was and uh, then you will become the good product expert or maybe architect or maybe a good dba and partitioning this is one more important feature where parallel processing will affect in your database operations this is also one more interesting point in hana to get the data very quickly than your raw store why because the partitioning you can do as you required in the hana for example i have a 100 gb table or maybe 500 gb table instead of searching in the 500 gb table if i make it into 3 4 partitions or 5 partitions each partition 100 gb whenever a query runs the data which it is looking in the which partition we have partition pruning concept is there by hana itself its own mechanism it will identify where exact data is there go to that partition and fetch the data it won't search remaining four partitions where if your data existing in two three partitions parallel process will run in each partition so that instead of one process searching 500 gb table now your five process will search in the five partition yes that is making the hana fast instead of searching complete table and no aggregations on the table so what is the aggregations are from the modeling point of view you can understand that later so we will discuss this clearly in the later classes okay and real time data this is one more feature so we have some different replication mechanisms uh, like sltb ods sgs smart data access etc or like with hadoop integration and all at that time we will discuss this real time means as soon as source is changed automatically should replicate in the hana for example i am replicating the data from oracle to hana in that case so if any change is happened in the oracle it should come into the hana quickly that is called real time without delay if anybody running report on hana okay so it should get current data as like in the source so that is so all these are making the hana successful as a application software and as a database hana is not only a database guys it is application software also means like your sap hana can be used as application software that is the next uh, uh, coming innovation by hana so probably hana 2.0 they bought some features going forward they are improving that way okay what we are doing now three tier architecture sap application layer is separate and database is separate same hana also we are using so far like that only but hana itself has some application features so we can use as a application product also that's why uh, the business uh, end users or reporting tools directly will connect to the hana because of that feature only we have access engine mechanism in the hana that makes your hana as a application software okay so these are all making your hana product it is not only because of hardware it is not only because of software it is not only because of database or not only as a like application it is a clubbing all that's why it's appliance okay right so now we are going to see what major change why the hana data fetching will be very fast in memory processing is how it is working in this slide it will i can show you here see actually in the traditional database with like three tier architecture okay so whenever any query are running or any transaction for example here i issued sm37 to fetch some the background jobs list maybe failed jobs or complete all release schedule failed finished everything i want so what will happen is it goes to the database fetches the data and here some orchestration happen orchestration is nothing but a calculation directly okay calculation and arranging in a proper manner what you required okay so this calculation part will be done in the sap level now your list will come in the sm37 all the job which you required job name job owner date okay failed or successful full list start date end date duration delay everything okay so this is what happening in the traditional database but with hana in memory technology what the major change happened is this calculation part we move to the database itself so with in memory in memory technology here that means we are using high end rams and hardware which supporting with multi core functionality here only because data is here we are only doing the calculation just result we are sending out that's it whereas in the traditional r3 architecture 
we are calculating in the application layer where load is in growing here in the application level in terms of memory buffers and all so but with hana everything is happening here only just a result we are sending out here why it was fast is there is no network delay between these two and second thing is we are using here in memory technology means ram all calculation will happen in the ram instead of fetching and calculating in the internally in the same system if you do calculation it will be very fast of course here column store compression partitioning many things we are your techniques are there so with that this fetching will be very fast just a report i am sending out is easy thing right so this is the major difference when you compare with a general r3 database or any other database which you are working this is what happening now this is the change happened in the in memory with the hana evaluation okay so if you understand this you can easily understand how hana is working okay so so many people will have confusion either ram is here or ram is here ram is in the database in the database server only okay so i'll show you one screen yes this is how your hana server in the traditional database your database is like this only no change figure wise okay what is the change here is this area only the change in the hana database in the traditional database you have data volumes and log volume means data area log area like your data files in oracle or k log files here yeah they are in the disk only no other choice here instance will be there means maybe background process for your oracle sga and all pmon smon checkpoint and all things are there db writer log writer but why what those are doing there is a difference where i am not going to explain those now but here the major difference here is here in memory capacity capability we brought it in the database itself with high ended hardware which are supporting multi core process to process your data very fastly including the in memory so this change happened in the database level this change happened where calculation happening here only where in the traditional database this is not there normal memory will be there okay its own architecture will be there to process the data but here we created one more layer for memory like database size for example this size is 100 gb this is also 100 if your data volume is 1 terabyte in hana this is also 1 terabyte whereas in the traditional database even they were terabyte 1 terabyte ram here how much we will use maybe 120 gb or maybe 250 gb like that only right we never use 1 terabyte ram in the traditional database even the use it won't support but in hana whatever the size of the data is there that ram will be there here that's why 1 terabyte data you are bringing from oracle means it will not be 1 terabyte here there is a compression coming into the picture and compression will work only on column store okay so we will see that in detail later so this is the major change what happened in the hana technology okay so as a one case study guys actually this was sap report only if a report is running maybe 350 seconds is taking means now same report with hana we are getting within one second 350 times faster okay see it is earlier like this many minutes now we are getting with 13 minutes like some, but this is not standard for all the customers okay why because sap hana behavior depends upon your business data and mean what to say is tables what kind of data it containing and what kind of queries running on that it's not same to customer to customer right for example in my business abc table i am using column 1 column 10 in your business you are using column 2 column 4 obviously the performance changes will be there and again what kind of values in the column 4 column 3 or column 2 which you are using or column 10 these are many factors will impact we will see that later nothing to worry okay why because uh, people will become panic okay sap is saying that uh, 77 minutes report is fetching in 13 seconds is a no where comparison in between these two where 77 minutes 1 hour 17 minutes report just getting in 13 seconds not even 1 minute not even half minute also right okay so don't take this as a standard but 
it will work very effectively okay it will work very effectively so these are going to why it was and all we are going to see that later okay so these are all making hana super fast like it's calculations made in the db and the column store and the compression and the data is stored in the memory so these are all making the hana very fast how we have to control and how this functionality will work and what we have to do in this areas that is our duty so which we are going to see in our classes okay and the final thing what i want to present for today is how we can use the hana okay how we can use the hana so because if you take your r3 architecture your sap should run on one database whatever it is the database one database without database your sap will not run okay i am running my database with oracle or max db or db2 whatever it is now i want to implement hana how i can implement i don't want to disturb my existing system but i want a hana features yes it is possible how it is possible two databases it supports usually r3 will not support two databases right only one database whatever database you are using one database only it will support okay that's why the first scenario is sidecar approach what is this is your existing system is running on some xyz database maybe oracle or sql whatever it is so we can implement hana separately as a sidecar approach you can call it. means no application will run here sap running here on this only what we are doing is we are replicating the data to here we using our provisioning tactics like slt bod smart data access whatever it is we will ignore that as of now so data is coming to from here to here my business will use this system for reporting earlier they are using this database for reporting through the application layer now it is not like that if you implement hana like this you can enjoy the features of hana with this scenario without disturbing existing business it is your customer choice but this possibility is there and the second possibility is as a persistent layer persistent layer is nothing but instead of your traditional database we can migrate this to hana that means your sap will run on hana only directly means we are migrating this so this is like your r3 architecture only you can also use this feature if your customer are willing to migrate to hana yes we can migrate i don't want this all headache why because i have to maintain this database this database instead of this i want this scenario yes it is possible and this is the one wonderful mechanism platform what is this is so far this is going to be a bigger blast guys going forward in the market in terms of data and even erp sector also it is going to affect more what is this is see so far what we are doing ecc one database means one server one application sap on one server database is on one server bw one server database one server crm sap one server database one server ep one server database one server let us say these four products i have four into two eight servers i am maintaining to maintain these eight servers i required infrastructure team i required os team i required basis team i required dba team okay and network team how many resources i required so this platform what making you know as a rack you can keep everything in one database like your add on in sap add on what we will do one add on for one feature another add on one feature right same way ecc crm srm like that all you can put it in one one server no multi resources i can organize centrally and with in memory feature that to one hana flat i don't require all these four servers i don't require these many consultants i don't require this much hardware is a wonderful mechanism right of course this is not as of now uh, promoting for production under some limitations only sap allowing you to use this feature but uh, sap working on this so once this product is finished okay full fledged release in the market means you can see lot of changes in the erp sector lot of customers will migrate this only even existing and even non sap customers also will now come to this this is what one sap expectation is coming one to two years 1 lakh customers migration to hana 
yes it's going to happen nowadays you are also seeing many people are asking for a there is only existing sap customers if this was successful full fledged in the production environment yes this is going to be a big change in the sap especially in nano sector okay can you imagine how many this was very quick but of course is a bad news for us also why because earlier four databases maybe we require two three basis consultants or two dbas or two network engineers like that but with this we may not require that many resources it is a uh, automation process simply to say world is looking for automation only right every technology innovation towards automation only to reduce the manpower and all. of course even though our demand will not be less but still there is a some difference you can see of course leave about that i am not talking that area okay so this is so these three ways you can use hana either side car approach or as a persistent layer or as a platform you can install many applications in one platform it's like a rack one rack ecc one rack bw one lakh crm like that only you can put it in one platform is a good idea right so this is how the hana is working with these scenarios okay so that's it guys uh, from the demo point of view and if come to the course it's a weekend course as i told okay and uh, there are two things it's all based on the registrations okay uh, any questions on this you can let